The Kansas City Chiefs coming off that near miss on Monday night against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Chiefs lost that game in overtime, had their first lead of the season. Remember, these Chiefs through eight games of the season did not have the lead for one second in any game during regulation. Their only win, of course, coming against the New Orleans Saints. And they never held the lead in that game until they kicked the winning field goal in overtime. So they finally got a lead last week. They almost shocked the world and beat Pittsburgh on the road on national television. Did not happen, though. Matt Castle throwing a bad interception in overtime. So turned out to be a near miss for the Chiefs still. When you're 1-8, and eight, you look for positivity anywhere you can. And I think Chiefs fans, and if, if they were honest, Chiefs players would look at that result last week as a positive all things considered, even though it's tough. I know it's tough to ever look at a loss as a positive. This week, Kansas City returns home. They host Cincinnati Bengals. Cincinnati installed as a three and a half point favorite in this game on bet deck. 43 and a half is a total. And I think there's the feeling that the Chiefs, you know, after that near miss last week, they're going to get it together and pull out a win against the Bengals here this week. Not a whole lot of faith in the Bengals, and you can't blame people for not having a whole lot of faith in this team, despite the fact they were a playoff team last year, despite the fact they had a big win last week against the New York Giants. Cincinnati, in their last 14 games versus AFC opponents, they have only covered once. That's right, 1-11-2 against the spread in their last 14 games versus AFC opponents. So the Bengals, since the middle of last season, remember the Bengals got off to a really nice start last season. I believe they won six out of the first eight games. Since that point, since their ninth game of last season, they've been a terrible team to back. Now, they did have a nice win last week. That offense really came to life. Cincinnati had lost four straight games before that win last week against the Giants. So they have some momentum. And unlike the Chiefs, they're not out of anything just yet. Cincinnati 4-5. and five, So, I mean, it's, it's not looking great for them in terms of the playoff picture in the AFC. But if they strung a couple of wins together, they could get right back in there. So plenty of motivation on Sunday. And I do lean towards the Bengals in this game, even though I just got finished talking about uh, how bad they've been, what a bad team they've been to back here lately over the last year or so. I just don't have any faith in the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm not one of those people who thinks that the Chiefs' performance last week you know, might mean that this team is coming together and that this is a good spot for them as a home dog here this week. I, I think last week might have been sort of the, the last hurrah for them, the last time they're really relevant this season, a, national te a national te nationally televised game excuse me, against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Matt Castle going again at quarterback this week. Brady Quinn apparently will be available. He's been out the last couple of games with a concussion. Now, I'm not sure Quinn provides any sort of an upgrade over Castle, so it might be you know six one, half dozen the other. Not sure it really matters who plays quarterback for the Chiefs. Fact of the matter is they're only averaging 16 points per game this year, 30th in the league in points scored, and that's not good when you're 28th in the league in points allowed. 30th in the league in points scored and 28th in the league in points allowed is a tough combination, and that is the 2012 Kansas City Chiefs. And with the exceptional last game, when their defense did show some life, or shoot, show some life, their defense played well, clamped down on that Steelers offense. I know Ben Roethlisberger got injured in the game, but even before Roethlisberger went out of the game, the Chiefs were having some, some success. But aside from that, you sure didn't see that coming because the two games preceding the last game, the Chiefs were lit up on defense. And Cincinnati, even though they're not a great offense, Bengals just an average team all the way around, they do have a good passing game, 10th in the NFL right now in pass yards per game. A.J. Green, one of the best young wide receivers in the NFL. Well, young wide receivers. One of the best wide receivers, period. Probably the single best young wide receiver. And the strength of the Bengals team is the passing game, or more specifically, Andy Dalton to A.J. Green. So expect the Bengals to hit a couple of big plays this week, as they do most weeks to A.J. Green. And... I think they're going to have enough. I think they're going to have enough to get a road win here in Kansas City. I, I know it, it, it's a little unsettling maybe backing a team like Cincinnati on the road, especially when you haven't been seeing a whole lot of results from this Bengals team in similar spots over the last year or so. But I believe Kansas City is a bad team. I, I, I'm not sure they've hit rock bottom. Obviously, saying they're a bad team, I'm not going out on any limb saying that, them being 1-8. and eight. But in other words, I, I don't think they've hit rock bottom and they're on the way up. I think they still might be slowly sinking, and I think this game against Cincinnati on Sunday could represent another low point for the 2012 Kansas City Chiefs.